towards an HIV cure, kick and kill approach. The human body is made up of lots of different cells. Each cell is designed differently and has a different job to do. Some of these cells are called T cells and these form part of the immune system. It is the immune system's job to help the body fight infections. Some of the cells that form the immune system are called CD4 T cells. They send messages to activate the body's immune system when it detects an infection. HIV is a virus that invades the CD4 T cells and the virus uses these cells to produce new copies of itself. These new copies are released into the body and these go on to infect other cells. When CD4 T cells die, people with HIV become unwell because the immune system stops working. This is how AIDS develops. HIV can be treated with ART, antiretroviral therapy. ART reduces the level of HIV in the body by stopping HIV from producing copies of itself. The level of HIV in the blood becomes undetectable, but this doesn't mean that HIV has gone, just that levels are too low to measure. ART only works against HIV that is inside awake and active CD4 T cells. However, some of the CD4 T cells infected with HIV are not active and are either resting or asleep. The HIV in these cells is also sleeping. This is known as the HIV reservoir. These cells are invisible to the body's immune system and ART. This is why ART alone cannot cure HIV. If ART is stopped, there is nothing to stop the HIV virus from spreading around the body again when the cells containing sleeping HIV wake up. This is why stopping ART is not recommended. Researchers who are trying to find a cure for HIV are very interested in this reservoir. These reservoirs have been detected in many tissues throughout the body, including the brain, lymph nodes, genital tract and gut. One idea is the smaller the reservoir, the easier the HIV may be to cure. In the river study, we hope to do this by waking the reservoir cells up and then killing them. This approach is called kick and kill. There are three steps in the river study. Step one, participants will be started on ART soon after diagnosis of HIV. Once ART has reduced the levels of HIV to an undetectable level, two vaccines will be given. This is step two. The vaccines train the immune system to recognize and kill the newly active cells. In step three, a drug called Virinostat will be used as a kick to wake up the sleeping virus inside infected reservoir cells. The awakened cell now becomes visible to the newly trained immune cells. The newly trained immune cells can now attack and remove the awakened reservoir cells, so reducing the number. This is the kill part of kick and kill. If this approach works, we hope to show that the number of sleeping cells left behind after treatment is much lower. This will mean that the reservoir is smaller and will be a really important first step in showing that the reservoir can be targeted by new therapies. In River, half of the participants will only use ART. The other half will receive the vaccines and virinostat in addition to ART. The study will compare the change in the size of the reservoir in each group. If in the future we can get rid of all the reservoir cells, we hope to be able to stop ART without the HIV coming back. We won't do this in River, but in the future we hope it might be possible and this would hold promise for an HIV cure.